I think there's a lot of narrative about young people not being interested in democracy, and I think that's just flat out factually untrue. Hi, I'm Janice. Hi, I'm Ahmed. Hi guys, I'm Mikaela. Hi, I'm Henry. Hi, I'm Alessandra. We're here today to talk about democracy and the power of young people. How would you define democracy? I define democracy kind of by its roots, if you think about it, its power to the people. So understanding the individual and in perspective what it does to the larger community. I would define democracy as the process in which an individual person can impact their greater government. How can young people exert influence in a democracy? We're kind of told like because of our youth we don't understand the world we live in and we don't understand how to bring about the world we want. I think that we treat young people as a sort of a question mark as whether they if instead of that they are doing it right now is kind of a disservice to all those people who are already participating. Young people can and have had a significant influence on our democracy. There was a lot of youth organizing this past midterm election cycles, a lot of um, nonprofit civic engagement organizations that are registering young people to vote and organizing in high schools, organizing on college campuses. What role does media play in a democracy? I think the media is just one of our key ways of getting information out into the world. And I think that's so powerful because now even just with the just a single click we can look up what's happening in our country in the world but I also feel like that's also super dangerous because of the amount of misinformation that's going around. I think what we have to be careful of is that media if we let it has a very real vested interest in becoming the way we express ourselves and keeping us contained there, right? Or we can just sort of be talking about what, you know, is convenient to be talking about because let's not forget everyone who runs any media company has their own interests, their own political interests that they're kind of slowly kind of steering us towards. On a more positive note, I think that media plays a role in encouraging young people to be involved in democratic processes. Like a lot of young people, myself included, um, I used to be very unaware about politics and being on media has kind of helped me to connect with other people and engage in productive discussions regarding the state of our political climate. And it's also helped me to learn a lot about like voting. Do you think that growing up in a democracy makes you see the world differently from people who did not? I have an interesting perspective on this because I did grow up in America, but at the same time I spent a lot of my childhood in other places. I grew up in Guinea, West Africa for about four or five years when I was really young. I guess the difference is that here we still have the privilege of like going out and protesting and like voicing our opinion on it in different ways. While there it's like a lot more dangerous too. Like, my dad's business got burned down over there, over an election, and it's crazy to think about. I think uh, growing up in a democracy is also so valuable to understanding that your individual opinion matters and it can make a difference. I think America has, like you said, a really strong ingrained identity of, you know, we should vote. We should exercise the, the rights that were fought for. My parents grew up in Central America where these rights are more often than here, you know, squandered upon. You can't speak freely, which is, I think is something a lot of people take for granted. So what are your hopes or visions for the future of democracy? A lot of people find like, okay, the system is bad, so I'm not gonna participate in it. And that's really understandable. A better way to look at it is the system is bad, but it can be changed. Gen Z and how involved they are in the political sphere. Well, Generation Z grew up in like the lockdown generation. We grew up with so many issues and we're finally um, using these issues and the trauma of these issues to make the world into a better place. <laughs>